Mate, if it, <laughs> it, listen, if we it can hundred percent, it can hundred percent happen. Mm. Wales could hundred percent win the World Cup. If they win the World Cup, the world as we know it will end. <laughs> the rugby world will end. Uh, 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 they are good enough. They can hundred percent do it. But if it happens, I fucking don't think. I don't know what you'd have to do. We'd just not ever be able to speak about it again. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I think we'd have to call off games. It would be unbearable. They think we're, like, everyone hates English. We know that. You know, empire building, we're all arrogant assholes. I understand that, I understand that, right? But if the Welsh win, it will just be non-stop choruses of bread of heaven. Every conversation, doesn't matter what you're talking about, wherever you went, in the middle of a business meeting, talking about a financial situation, they'll somehow go, well, we won, we won, we fucking won the World Cup, didn't we? What? What's that got to do with anything? Well, we won the World Cup, didn't we? Fuck you, mate. I'll be like, that's what, that's what it'll be like. That's what it'll be like. So I just, I don't... I think, I think we'll have to invent a new game. Yeah. So the only people playing rugby union are the Welsh, and we'll go and play rugby, <laughs> rugby something, because we just can't. If, if they win, it'll be over. It'll be over. It'll be what, over. what would be worse, Wales winning it or Ireland winning it? Um, for you, Ireland, but for the rest of us, no, Wales. No, 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 no. Well, actually, Ireland would be so bad this World Cup. So <laughs> I think Wales... I mean, the thing is with Wales, I think they have a lot more behind them that will make it possible for them to win the World Cup. I still... I, the only thing I don't like about Wales is their attack. I think everything else, they're a great... They've got a great Fair team defense. spirit, they've got everything else, but they, they can't score tries unless they do a cross-field kick <laughs> of, a, of a penalty advantage or they pick and go for 35 phases. But so Ireland were doing that 18 months ago and it got them to number one in the world. So, you know, I, I just think if they, they will win on the... They'll, they will beat France, I think, and then they'll come against South Africa, and I just don't think they'll beat them. But um, if they did, I, I have promised someone that I will go out for a, the night out on the pierce after the final in a Welsh jersey. I have brought the Welsh jersey where we beat them in 2003, so... Uh, <laughs> At least I'm still. At least I'm still going to feel good about myself if they do. But... Do, you know, do, you know, do you know what? I genuinely think though, if, if any coaching staff could do it, it'd be Warren Gatlin, Sean Edwards. Stephen Jones, John McBride, all those guys, they just, they have this knack of like coming together under pressure. They love the position of the underdogs. They love doing their things their way, keeping close ranks. Gats goes in the media, throws a few grenades out there. Sean gets them so fired up. Stephen Jones thinks very different from Rob Howley. He, you know, when, when we had him at Wasps, he's an incredible coach, incredible attacking coach that I felt probably should have got the Welsh, Welsh job. So it's one of those things where you'd like to dismiss it and go, they haven't got a chance, but there's that, in the back of your mind, like, shit, they actually could. And if that happens, I'm just going to pretend I never played rugby. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going like, to do something else. Like, I've always been a fighter, you know, I've always done this, I'm not, I've always been a DJ, forget about it, I'm not doing it.